I'm Blair. This is a Columbus instructor. This is going to be our pre-trip video. When you start your pre-trip, you start on the end cab. The first thing you do is three points of contact getting in and out of the vehicle. Contact number one, contact two, and then the step is three. Climb in, transfer over. Same when exiting the vehicle. Three points of contact. One, two, and three. Steering wheel, door, door handle, step. We're going to come on in and start with our in cab inspection. The first thing when you get in the truck that you want to do is get comfortable. You can adjust your steering wheel, adjust your mirrors, and your seat. You're going to start by turning your truck on. My ABS light has lit up on the tractor and the rear of the trailer. My depth gauge is full and I have enough depth to complete a trip. My left indicator is working. My right indicator is working. My high beam indicator is working. My four way flashes are working. You have to make sure you point at everything you talk about. My mirrors are securely mounted. They are not cracked, chipped, or broken. They are clean and adjusted to my view. My city horn works. My air horn works. Sometimes your air horn's here on the steering wheel. Sometimes you'll have a little cable up here. After we do our steering wheel, we'll move on to our windshield. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. It is free of obstruction. You'll turn on your windshield wipers over here with this knob. My windshield wipers are securely mounted. They are not worn or torn, and they make proper contact to the windshield. Press that same knob in, and you'll get your washer fluid. My washer fluid is working properly. We'll do our heat and our defrost next. This setting right here is a top defrost and floor heat. Turn your knob, reach up, my heat, my defroster is working. Reach down and my heat is working. Turn your knobs back off. Now we're gonna do a tug test. In order to do a tug test, you need to be at about 120 PSI. You put your truck into first gear, press your clutch all the way in. I will release my trailer brake and tug against my tractor brake. Your trailer is always the red, your tractor is always the yellow. You're gonna let out of that clutch slowly until you feel a tug. There's my tug, press your clutch back in. You're gonna engage your trailer brake. We're now going to release our tractor brake and tug it against our trailer brake. We're gonna do the same thing, ease out of our clutch till we feel a tug. There's our tug. I will now release both tractor and trailer brakes. And I'm gonna test my service pedal by rolling forward three to five feet and then coming to a stop. With both hands on the wheel, I should not pull to the right or left. If I do, it indicates that I have a problem. Start rolling. Clutch in and break. I did not pull to the right or left. We're gonna put our truck into neutral. We're now gonna begin our air leak test. The first step of your air leak test is building your pressure to the governor cutout between 120 and 140 PSI. These two gauges right here on the right are your air tanks. One of them is the primary, one of them is the secondary. If your truck's rolling, it's fine. Just let it level out. You can apply pressure to the gas pedal and help assist with the building of air. You're gonna listen for a sneezing sound. That sneezing sound, the release of air, is your governor cutout. My governor cutout at 125 PSI, any number between 120 and 140. You're then gonna turn off your truck. 
turn the key back over to auxiliary mode where all your dash lights come on, but don't start the engine. I will now apply pressure to the service pedal. I should lose no more than four PSI in one minute. Mr. Examiner, will you time me? You're gonna press this all the way down and he's gonna be sitting there timing you. He will make you hold it the whole minute. Don't take your foot off until he tells you to. Your minute's up. Great. I did not lose more than four PSI in one minute. I will now pump my brakes at no less than 55 PSI. I should see a warning light or hear a buzzer. Just pump your brake pedal. My warning light and buzzer came on at 60 PSI. I will continue to pump my brakes at no more than 45, no less than 20 PSI. My spring brakes will set and both the knobs will pop out. Make sure you're watching your knobs. You're not always going to hear them. My spring brake set at 30 PSI. That concludes my air leak test. Mr. Examiner, you mind getting out, checking my lights. At this point, your examiner is gonna get out of the truck. You're gonna stay in. He's gonna check all your lights. You need to make sure that he can hear you. You're gonna roll down your window and lean out. My headlights are working. My high beams are working. My turn, left turn signal on the front and side of the trailer are working. My right turn signal on the front and side of the trailer are working. My four-way flashers on the front and side of the trailer are working. My clearance lights on the top and side of the trailer are working. Once he gives you a thumbs up, having moved to the back of the trailer, we're going to do the same thing. This time he's a little bit further away. So turn around so that he can hear you. My tail lights are working. My brake lights are working. Left signal. Right signal. Four way flashers. Clearance lights. Wait on him to give you the thumbs up. You can exit the vehicle. Turn your key off, but you do not have to take it out. Once you exit the vehicle, you're gonna start with your clearance lenses. Everything on the outside that is a light now has to be called a lens. My clearance lenses, securely mounted, they are not cracked, chipped, or broken, and they are the proper color of amber. My head lenses, securely mounted, they are not cracked, chipped, or broken, they are clean of any fog, and then the proper color of clear. Come to open your hood, you unlatch it, and come to the side well. And you just push it up. We're going to start with our coolant reservoir. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. The cap is on tight. It is not leaking, and it is between the levels of add and full. Come on around to this side of the truck. And we have our power steering reservoir. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. It is not leaking. The cap is on tight, and it is between the levels of add and full. Here we have our engine oil dipstick, securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. It is not leaking. I would use this to check and make sure my oil was between add and full. We have our steering gearbox. This gearbox is always going to be connected to your steering column if you're ever confused on where it's at. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. It is not leaking. All of the hoses to and from have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they are not leaking. The next three parts that I'm going to say, I would be the only three things I group together. My pitman arm, my drag link, and my tie rod. Securely mounted. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. 
the castle nuts and cotter pins are present. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. We're going to move into our spring mounts. Our spring mounts are securely mounted on the front and the rear. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. Our leaf springs are these metal plates. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. They are not shifted. Our shock absorber, this metal tube, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking. All nuts, bolts, and rubber bushings are present. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. We'll go into our air brake hose, right here on top of this air brake chamber. It is securely mounted. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and it is not leaking. On the back of our tire here, we have our drums and linings, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, free of any oil, debris, and contaminants. I have worked my way out of the engine bay, so the last thing that I have is my engine bay overview. All of my hoses have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There's no visible or audible leaks. All of my wires are securely mounted. They are not bare or exposed. I have no puddles underneath my tractor indicating I would have a leaking component. I'll move on to my tire. My tire is securely mounted, has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. I have the minimum four thirty seconds of an inch tread depth. My valve stem, securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. It is not leaking. I would use a tire gauge to check the pressure. This valve stem is important because if you forget to say the valve stem, everything on this tire you do not get the point for. My rim, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, no illegal welds or drill holes. My lug nuts, securely mounted, none are missing. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no rust trails or shiny threads that would indicate looseness. We're going to move on. We have our mirror bracket, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. We have a marker lens or reflector lens. Either one works. They're not always gonna be on the back of the mirror, but if they are and you see it, say it. We have our marker lens here, securely mounted. They are not cracked, chipped, or broken in the proper color of amber. We're gonna open our door and check for a fire extinguisher. Should be securely mounted and fully charged. Your safety equipment will be inside of this box. And most of the time there's a lever to open this box. Make sure you open the box if you can. Inside of here, I will have three reflective triangles and a spare fuse for every fuse in the truck. I have my fuel tank securely mounted not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking. The cap is tight. If there was a dev tank, it'd be right next to this. My dev tank, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking, the cap is tight. We're gonna move on to our battery box. You don't have to open the battery box. It is securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. The cables are tight and free of corrosion. Moving on. Back here we have our airlines. Our airlines are securely mounted from the tractor to the trailer at the glad hands. The glad hands are securely mounted. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. And the rubber grommets that are in the middle of these are not cracked, bent, broken, missing, or leaking. The airlines themselves have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and they are not leaking. My electrical cord, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's a securely mounted to the electrical box, which is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. The electrical cord has no bare or exposed wires, and none of my wires are dragging across my catwalk. My tractor frame and cross member. Tractor frame and cross member. Securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, no illegal welds or drill holes. Moving up top, we have a clearance lens. You may not see it, but it's always going to be there. Securely mounted, not cracked, chipped, or broken, proper color of amber. 
Down here on the bottom, we have our trailer apron. Securely mounted, not cracked in or broken, no illegal welds or drill holes. It's the metal plate right here. Next is our fifth wheel skid plate, the big round plate that's back here. Securely mounted, it is not cracked in or broken. There is no gap or daylight between the fifth wheel and the apron. Our fifth wheel release arm, securely mounted, not cracked in or broken. It is properly stowed for safe travel. This thing slides back and forth across this frame. So we have our sliding fifth wheel locking pins. Securely mounted, not cracked in or broken, fully extended in a locked position. Down this way we have our king pin. It's up in the, between the plate. You're not gonna see it while you're connected. Our king pin, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. Locked in place with the locking jaw. The locking jaws are securely mounted. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. Locked around the bottom of the king pin. Moving on, we have our landing gear. Our landing gear is made up of four parts. You have your cross members, all of the bars here in the middle and out here on the side. They're securely mounted. Not cracked, been or broken. We have our pad. Our landing pad is securely mounted. It is not cracked, been or broken. It is raised fully in a safe position. We have our crank handle. Our crank handle is securely mounted. It is not cracked, been or broken. And then last, we have the clearance. I have enough clearance between my landing gear and my tractor to properly make turns. We have our trailer frame and cross members. The trailer frame, the cross members run all the way across, metal bars. Securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, no illegal welds or drill holes. We have our reflective DLT tape, securely mounted. It is not worn, torn, or missing. We have a marker lens, securely mounted. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. It is the proper color of amber. Back here we have our sliding tandem frame. It's this rail with all these circles in it. It's your sliding tandem frame. Securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. No legal welds or drill holes. The locking pins are fully extended in a locked position. The release arm is securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. It is stowed for safe travel. Here we have our ABS lens, securely mounted, not cracked, chipped, or broken, proper color of amber. Our marker lens, securely mounted, not cracked, chipped, or broken, proper color of red. We get to the back, we have our clearance lenses up top, securely mounted, they are not cracked, bent, or broken, proper color of red. Our tail lenses and brake lenses, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, proper color of red. Our DLT tape is securely mounted. It is not worn, torn, or missing. Mr. Examiner, I would inspect the right side of the truck the same way I would the left side.